हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर अभिजीत वी मुफरे वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग डब्ल्यू आई टी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन वी विल इंट्रोड्यूस टू द एंगुलर फ्रेमवर्क एंड दिस इज अ सीरीज ऑफ सेशंस यू विल फाइंड आउट विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द शॉर्ट कोर्स ऑन फ्रंट एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड इन दिस कोर्स वी विल बी लर्निंग द एंगुलर फ्रेमवर्क ओके सो लेट एस बिगिन so in this session 1 uh, what we will do uh, we will just understand why we need front end framework uh, so many of you may have heard uh, the front end development or full stack development okay or back end development so these terms are coined quite often in the industry jargon so what exactly is the front end development uh, this is what we are going to learn in this session see basically uh, when we interact with the computer which is uh, called as human computer interaction uh, there are so many interfaces available to interact with the computer okay uh, and the most often that we we use uh, is the command line interface and the second one is the graphical user interface and in graphical user interface uh, as you can see uh, we have the windows and different different uh, ui elements user interface elements such as button text boxes and etc and then we interact with that gui component with the help of mouse or keyboard and or joystick for that matter any any input devices that we have so uh, traditionally uh, there were two technologies available uh, in the language uh, we have several wi windowing uh, libraries such as in java we have aws advanced windowing toolkit and in the uh, cc++ also we have the windows uh, libraries but uh, since last few uh, years the use of html and css uh, has increased quite a lot and because of the enterprise level applications which are available through internet on the web browser uh, the importance of the html and css and the javascript has increased many fold and but in history uh, all these things were done on the server side uh, which famously is called as a back end development but uh, with the uh, introduction to the lots of front end frameworks okay this is what we are our topic is uh, the in last few years lots of front end framework have emerged uh, such as angular vue ionix react okay and these front end frameworks are used to develop the web application mobile application as well as uh, desktop application and you can have those front end run on a, your browser and we call such kind of applications as hybrid applications okay they are also famously called as web applications and nowadays these hybrid or web applications run on any type of device let it be mobile phone let it be uh, your laptop or desktop machines or let it be a television set right and so the popular technologies of the web development which are html css and javascript have now got lot of importance and these frameworks are built around these three technologies such as html css and javascript okay so as all of us know that html and css is the de facto standard or de facto languages scripting languages used to develop the graphical user interface that we see on the web pages and the javascript is the web browser language uh, hence the choice of for the uh, web app now where the type script comes in the picture see the javascript has lots of limitation when we are going to develop a enterprise level application right so such kind of limitation has been overcome okay with the help of typescript which is not a new language it is just a superset of javascript what do you mean by superset of javascript that means there are certain facilities enhancements introduced in the javascript and those enhancements are called as typescript and we have a typescript compiler which compiles the typescript code and converts that code into the javascript so ultimately what we will get as an output is the javascript code but the typescript will be more efficient uh, as it has a lot of features which are suitable for the enterprise level application development right and then in that case uh, when the front end and the back end are separate the back end can be anything so those are those things are detached from each other so uh, both can work in parallel the teams in the companies can work parallel one may work in on the back end and one may work in a front end 
so this clear cut distinction has given a lot of advantage and the user u, user interface and user experience uh, these uh, new terms as all of us know have uh, now the uh, very much demand where the user expects that he will get a lot of good experience as far as the user interface is concerned so these front end frameworks all work towards enhancing the user experience ui ux that we short call and uh, give the fac good facilities uh, to the uh, user in terms of user interface okay so next uh, let us understand what is the role of the javascript in the web or hybrid application development as whatever you see on the screen okay is given by the html and css as you can see this picture depicts very clearly and very beautifully what is the role of the css html and what is the role of the javascript as you can see uh, when you see a web page you see the beautiful graphics pictures okay uh, then a, a lot of fonts and colors and animations everything and you feel that oh this uh, ui user interface is quite a nice but the actual work done underneath is all javascript as it is shown in this figure so what happens is that coming to this uh, picture now you the user interacts with the screen or user interface okay which is provided through the html and css so what user sees is given by the html and css and then obviously user interacts with that user interface and it produces the ui events and these ui events okay are given to the javascript code and the javascript code will act according to those events and do something in the background okay for example if the user have clicked the button and then the javascript will uh, consider this that event it will handle that event and may fetch some data from the back end and then it will change the state of this application and the updated state will again be rendered with the new html and css whatever is the required so here the job of the front end is that it no longer needs to call the html and css files from the server which was traditionally done but here the html and css file will be dynamically generated with the help of a javascript okay and the state will be updated updated at the client side so this will definitely increase the uh, bandwidth okay of the applications that we have now here okay this is fine uh, javascript we are using but why do we need to learn the typescript okay as the course is in angular so angular is the framework which is written in the typescript it is not written in the javascript though you can write the javascript code in the angular but still okay it is a framework uh, developed using the typescript language because the typescript will be the future of the uh, uh, this uh, front end development because lots of programming uh, this front end framework have shifted towards the typescript language and the reason as i have already told you that it is a uh, it is a front end uh, uh, de facto language it is becoming okay so let us understand what is the typescript right so typescript is similar it is not a new language uh, as such uh, it is a superset of uh, javascript what do you mean by superset so superset means that it has added few features and advantages to the uh, javascript and then uh, the microsoft have developed the compiler for this typescript okay uh, why uh, we need a compiler for the typescript because typescript cannot be understood by the web browser web browser only understands the javascript so obviously we cannot take away the javascript from the web browser and introduce typescript in the web browser because uh, because of the uh, backward compatibility issue right so we need to deal with the javascript and slowly and steadily uh, the new browsers will support both javascript and typescript simultaneously and uh, from the in the coming years the javascript will be replaced by the typescript still the uh, legacy code uh, is there okay browser has to support this ts and js both but now uh, what they are doing is uh, instead of doing supporting both ts and js what they have done is uh, they have written a compiler okay which will then compile the typescript code into the javascript code and then the browser will uh, easily understand it okay so what are the features which helps the uh, java uh, typescript uh, stand out 
uh, against the JavaScript is uh, typing. Uh, the name itself suggests that JavaScript is a very loosely typed language and which is not good for enterprise level application, uh, for the robustness of the application, for the security of the application. So that TypeScript have li removed those limitations and then we can use this TypeScript for writing the code. And the Angular framework is developed uh, on this TypeScript language. Okay. So TypeScript, uh, as is this diagram is showing, is suitable to write the enterprise level module applica modular applications. Okay, so it is strongly typed. That means as the Java, C, C++, which are compiled languages, TypeScript is also strongly typed language. And we know if the language is to supposed to be the robust, okay, error free, okay, and very uh, scalable, then definitely it must have a strongly typed uh, system. So and then again, it is an object oriented. Okay, so and the compiled language. So these feature makes the TypeScript okay, a good candidate for developing enterprise level application. And this TypeScript is developed over the ES6 standard. Now what is ES6? Enter ES6 is the uh, ECMAScript 6 uh, standard which is the standard for the JavaScript which has been brought into 2015. And this ECMAScript 6 standard is the de facto standard now all the browsers support and so TypeScript is developed upon that and the future versions of the JavaScript will move towards the TypeScript. So they uh, uh, slowly and steadily, okay, they will um, modify their syntax so that they will eventually become the TypeScript. Okay, this is how what the industry is going to. And then this TypeScript is compiled to the JavaScript, okay, and we uh, get the, our web application. Okay, so this entire process we are going to study how it is done in this course.